Hello everyone and welcome to another video by Centipede Geek. Now today in this video I'm going to do my first DVD collection update where I tell you about the latest DVDs that I picked up in uh, I'd say about the past month or so. If you'll notice, some of these DVDs I'm getting ready to show you, I've already showed you in my entire DVD collection update, but just so you know, these are the most recent DVDs that I've picked up. Some are included in that video, some are not. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get to it, shall we? First film today is George A. Romero's Dawn of the Dead, the original, not the remake. I do have that one, but the original. This is the uh, Divimax edition, special edition. This is a great film, great zombie flick. Haven't seen it, really ought to check it out. Loads of commentaries, uh, trailers, TV spots, uh, poster gallery, uh, comic book preview. Loads of good stuff on here. This is George A. Romero, definitely at his best. Check this one out if you haven't seen it. Another George A. Romero film in the Dead series. The sequel to Dawn of the Dead, Day of the Dead, the original, not the remake. This is also a killer film. I, I loved this when I watched it. Loads of commentaries, all kinds of cool stuff on here. Haven't seen this once again. Definitely check this out. Myself, I prefer uh, Dawn of the Dead over Day of the Dead. But, well, I don't know. Day, Day of the Dead's really cool. I think, th I have to be honest, I think they're on par with each other. I don't know which one to pick. Both of these are really cool films. This one I wasn't too crazy about, but I just wanted it for completion's sake. George A. Romero's Diary of the Dead, a Dimension release. Guy on the front calls, gives it four stars and calls it a masterpiece. I don't know if I'd go that far. I'd say I, I might give it a solid 7 out of 10. Loads of special features, though. Slipcase and all. A very nice edition of it. Lo loads of stuff on here. Everything from a commentary to a feature-leaf documentary. All kinds of cool stuff on here. So if you do like the film a lot, if you don't know, it's a found footage. Uh, George A. Romero tries on found footage. And the narration and stuff like that's kind of cool, but the film itself is just okay. Compared to Dawn of the Dead, and Day of the Dead, and even Land of the Dead. Diary of the Dead really pales in comparison. Anyways, that's that. Another film that I picked up, just so you guys know, I picked up all three of those on Amazon. Five dollars and under, all real cheap. I picked up these next three films at Walmart in a pack that was about $13. And that is the Scary Movie a Trilogy. I know there's four films, and they making a fifth film coming out January 5th of 2013. This is the first one. These are just, these are just, these are really cool films. You know, not amazing, but they're just real fun. They spoof four films. Scary Movie films are just, they're fun. They front of this as hilarious and outrageous, and I would say that. Pretty cool stuff, just a hilarious film. The first one is definitely my favorite out of the bunch. Like I said, the Scary Movie Trilogy, here's Scary Movie 2. Now these are not the Bare Bones Edition, they all came wrapped together for $13, but these are the these are the good edition of them. Loads of uh, special features, uh, not a commentary, but additional scenes, deleted scenes, trailers, TV spots, stuff like that. Uh, the second one has a feature read, more deleted scenes, um, you know, it shows you how they did the makeup. Really, there's some really disgusting scenes in this one. You know, when they, they spoof the exorcist, though, and the exorcist is, like, puking all over everyone in the beginning. Stuff like that. Really, really comical stuff in this one. Um, <clears throat> this is the last one that the uh, Wayne's brothers were in, so that's one of the things it's notable for. Next one is, of course, is Scary Movie 3. Now, this one... I'll be honest, it's probably my least favorite out of the bunch. It's hilarious, don't get me wrong. I have a great time watching this, but it was probably my least favorite because one of my favorite characters in the uh, scary movie was not in it. It's this guy right here. It's the guy, you know, that he's talking over the phone, the, the screen guy, and he's all like, What's up? And he's, you know, he says all the whole true, true thing. Anyways, that guy I thought was really cool, and he's not in 3 or 4. So that was one of the reasons I wasn't too fond of 3, but 3 is still a pretty funny film. Once again, I'll, this one actually does have a commentary. One and two don't, this one does. So, $13 at Walmart. This next, these next three films are all on a, are all in the same package in three disc, and I also got them for $13 at Walmart not too long ago. And that is the X-Men Trilogy. X-Men 1, 2, and X-Men 3, The Last Stand. Now, I've only seen three The Last Stand. I haven't seen one or two. 
One of these days, here in the next probably a few weeks or so, I'll probably marathon all three of them. But at this point in time, I have not seen them. Now, need, now I believe these are just the bare bones editions. I'll open it up here so you can see all three discs. Got one disc here, another disc here, another disc there. Anyways, bare bones edition of X-Men. Nothing too special there. Cool films, though. Another film that I picked up at a, at a uh, game exchange in uh, Claremore, a town I live near, is uh, Camp Hell. If you watch my uh, Camp Hell review, you'll know that Jesse Eisenberg is, only makes a cameo in this film for in there for a little under five minutes. This is a cool film, though. Watch my review for more info. Got it for about five dollars. Deleted scenes, trailer gallery, not too much on here. I also picked this next film up for about five dollars at the same place. Everyone knows this film. It's the collector's edition of The Sixth Sense, starring Bruce Willis. Um, no commentary, it's just some deleted scenes, storyboard, film comparison, um, trailer, stuff like that. Not, not too much on the special features on this uh, edition. Cool film, five dollars. Why not? Really cool ending if you haven't seen it. Definitely worth a watch. This next one, I've always been a fan of this series. I just, I don't know what it is about this series, but I've always loved it. I've kind of grown up with it. Came out in 99. Still makes new episodes today. Been around for more than a decade, and I just love the series for some reason. And that's SpongeBob. This is actually the newest season. This is the uh, seventh season of SpongeBob. Complete seventh season. Over nine hours of entertainment. Have not watched um, yeah, I'm sure I've caught a few episodes here and there on TV, but as for now, I have not watched this. All kinds of cool stuff. Um, all kinds of special features on here. I've noticed that throughout the years, they've gotten kind of smaller. They used to do it in the thick cases, and they went to the single stuff. And now they're even putting it in a regular DVD case, where they block in all... Kind of like my uh, X-Men, if you'll notice. And where all three discs are all in here. Nonetheless... Oh, there's actually, there's, there's my mistake. I always thought there was three discs. There's actually four discs. So four discs. Didn't know that. Loads of special features, though. Anyways, seven season of SpongeBob. That's all the DVDs that I've picked up in the past month or so. I have a few extra little goodies that I want to show you guys. I've picked up uh, one Xbox 360 game in the past month or so. A game called Jericho. You don't know what Jericho is? It's a original adapted story by Clive Barker. You know, Clive Barker did Hellraiser, Lord of Illusions, uh, Nightbreed. Uh, you know, he, he does a lot of the stuff. He wrote the book, Abra books. He's done a lot of cool stuff. Anyways, he, uh, he did the story for Jericho. And this is a great, really intense, really bloody, just a blur of just blood and guts and bullets and just... That's actually what the back of it says, by IGM.com. Intense, a blur of spilled blood and, blood and bullets. Great game. Um... Really, really cool. I got this for about uh, five dollars, I believe, on Amazon. Definitely uh, check it out if you haven't, if you haven't got a chance to. Um, another game that I've gotten, not a 360 game, but a Wii game. I just recently got a Wii, and my first addition to my Wii collection is a Super Mario Galaxy, the first one. This is a phenomenal game. I love this game. I haven't got too far into it, but what I've played, this game is killer. Check it out if you haven't. Uh, this one's a two-player. I don't know what the second one is, but this one is two-player. Comes with a real nice, thick manual. Definitely check this out. This The graphics are cool. Really bright, fluorescent. Cool gameplay. Just a great game in general. Now, this next thing is neither a game nor a movie, but actually a graphic novel. It's actually Billy Majestic's Humpty Dumpty. Now, if you don't know, they're making a film about this. Humpty Dumpty 3D, and the executive producer that's involved with Lord of the Rings is doing the film. The same guy that directed Shark Knight, David Ellis, I believe is his name, is directing Humpty Dumpty. Now, this is a, this is a, a great graphic novel. Let's see if I could just show it without giving it too much away. The, uh, the art is almost photo-like. Yeah, that's how great the art is. Let me see if I can show you some of this. Let's see here. There's some of the art there. The art in this graphic novel is just phenomenal. The story's pretty good too, but the best thing about it, just look look how bright and look how bright those flames are with the flamethrower. That's just some great stuff in this graphic novel. 
Anyways, Humpty Dumpty. Pretty much about um, an alien, aliens that fall from the sky, the mother gets raped, Humpty Dumpty comes out for revenge. That's the gist of Humpty Dumpty. Anyways, I, th I appreciate and I thank everyone who watched my first DVD collection update. I'll be doing these videos probably um, every two or three weeks, probably three weeks at the most, depending on whether or not I get stuff. I don't get stuff on a huge basis. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. So it really depends on, you know, if I get stuff. If I don't get anything, then of course I won't be making a video. If I do get something, I'll make the video. So here in about another three weeks, probably uh, mid-June-ish, maybe late June, I'll make another video. So until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later with another DVD collection update.